BJ Murphy. I'm a Jinobara artist. Drawing in my childhood and then I sort of started taking it more seriously and it was about 2008 I picked up a paintbrush for the first time. Um, I still have a picture of that first painting. <laughs> I've come a long way. Um, yeah, so probably 2008 is when I started taking it a bit more serious and got right into it instead of just doodling and mucking around. A, a bit of everything, so cross-hatching, dotting. Um, I like to play around a bit with my backgrounds. Um, that sort of come from uh, Uncle Jason teaching me and uh, thankfully pushing me to not be scared to mix colours and blending and use different textures and just objects even when I'm trying to do a background. So I guess like everyone, it was pretty rough to begin with. Um, and I naturally have shaky hands, but when I paint for some reason, it's that calming. I, my hand gets really steady. And um, over the years, yeah, I think I've just gotten a bit more meticulous with it and pedantic. So um, with the sort of angles to get that nice diamond shape in the background. And, and yeah, so um, not in the beginning, but it just, yeah, it sort of grew on me. And now I try and, I mean, I almost get it to look like a print, but not because art's art, it doesn't have to be perfect, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, I do get a bit OCD with it. <laughs> so, a, a lot of it actually was my uncle, um, Jason, um, just seeing some of his paintings growing up as a kid as well, um, and then, yeah, with him having his art degrees and everything, and he sort of... He gets me to think outside the box sometimes and um, yeah, just not to be afraid to experiment a bit. And then um, Uncle Noel with his sort of old school style of art. Yeah, he, he definitely got me into wood burning a bit more. Um, I only ever done a few wood burnings beforehand because I used to draw a bit. So I'd try and um, shade with the wood burner as well, to give it a bit more detail because I sort of like to think I'm a bit more of a contemporary Indigenous artist. But, um, so I try and, like with the style is where I try and get the contemporary in and then sort of keep it the old ways with the colours and the ochres and stuff like that. But a lot of my stuff, like the eagles and stuff like that, I'll, I, I like using fluorescent coloured paints and metallics and I've even been able to like tip glitter all over one of my paintings. Like, yeah, I like just to experiment and sometimes it doesn't work but most of the time it turns out better than what I've pictured it to so I started off very basic and it was always sort of I just had like a set routine with a painting like I'd pick an animal and I'd do a few dots here and it was all very similar and then Uncle Jason sort of helped me you know broaden my pattern one way of thinking and just sort of add more things into it and not be afraid to mix the colours up and but still use like I do with all the contemporary highlights and fluoros and still use all that but just to sort of also take my time with it to make it work otherwise too much happens at once and then it's just no good so I guess that's the big thing like with my art it calms me down it slows me down so I can just sort of relax and um yeah, take my time with it and nine times out of ten like I won't always have an idea to begin with with the painting of what I'm going to paint and then once I start it almost paints itself sometimes and then in the end normally got a nice beautiful piece so just being out on country and normally it's the little things that you wouldn't notice if you're in the city like being out here uh, I don't know it could be anything like yeah, the the mountain picture, picture I took a photo of, Mount Archer, Perugia, and um, I just had to paint it. Like, I didn't set out to do that, but it just sort of come about like that. Um, I recently done a platypus as well, and that was from working with my uncle out at Kilcourt at the creek, because there was a platypus there. And I waited hours to see it, but it didn't come out, so um, I ended up going home and painting one. <laughs> 
So yeah, inspiration, it just comes from, it can come from anywhere. Like, and sometimes I'll get stuck too. So I just need to just come out and take a drive out through Woodford and Kilcoy and normally something will happen or, you know, I'll get an idea or something. So definitely I'd have to say is like being out on country. Art's such a hard game. <laughs> like, it's, you just gotta push it all the time. So I really just sort of do it for myself, my culture, and I just take it as it comes. Um, should I ever catch a break with it, that'd be awesome, you know, but um, I'm just happy with what I'm doing and it just really helps center me, so, yeah. If I'm famous, you know, get famous from it, then awesome. If not, I'm happy just plotting along.